field. Calusa won the toss and defers to Amador right now. Captains for tonight, uh, number 44 is Collins, number 53. Uh, oh, and an Aniquiz. and who was the third one? TJ Sweets. Yeah, uh, TJ Sweets. Number 69. And for the uh, Red Hawks, it's Garrett Hamilton. Uh, 26 is John Barron, and number 50 is Riggio Santana. Santana, uh, their leading tackler on defense. He was our defensive player of the game last week. Pretty good size on this Calusa team, Jim, looking right down the roster. Here comes the amateur band. We're getting ready for uh, our national anthem to get this game started. So on the paper today, they hired a music teacher. Yeah, I think... Uh Johnny Johnson, an old trumpet player from our amateur high school. I think he yeah, graduated. graduated from UOP. And I guess he's going to try to take over the uh, Argonaut and both amateur and Argonaut high school and the bands. junior highs, I believe. And junior highs. I'll tell you what, got his work cut out for him. Big job. Well, we certainly welcome him back home, being an amateur graduate. And my alma mater, UOP. That's right. An old Tiger. That's it. That was an old Tiger, though, too. Jackson, Jackson Tiger. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to bow out for our national anthem and be right back. the National Anthem. Oh, we're going to give them a few seconds to march off the field here, and it looks like we're going to be ready for kickoff. A reminder, your overall sponsor of the game of the week is locally owned and operated Jackson Tire Service, your headquarters for tires, wheels, brakes, shocks, struts, rotations, wheel alignments, mufflers, oil filters, and much, much more. Jackson Tire Service, 801 South Highway 49 in Jackson. And also Highway 88, right in the middle of downtown Pine Grove. Go up to Pine Grove and see Cursed Bavero up there. That's right. Running the Pine Grove store. I guess they have more snow tires there at Pine Grove than they do in Jackson. Well, hopefully we're going to need them this year. Well, better. All right, so here we go. They only have, I think I was reading the uh, program there, Frank. They do have... A sole K, a kicker. Doesn't play any other position, but and that's number 31, uh, Taylor Miller. So let's see if he's teeing it up. Well, we're right so far. Like yeah. Back deep, number 21 is uh, Littlefield. And also number 12 is uh, Cameron Bennett for the Buffs. That's Dylan Littlefield because there are two uh, brothers on this team, Dustin and Dylan. Both seniors. Dustin got all the height in the family. He's six foot three. His brother's five nine. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, ready to tee it up at five minutes to eight. Ball on the eight, uh, 15 yard 15. line. Whoa, he's got a hold, Frank. Boy, he just had one more man to beat, and he was off the races. 
Good return all the way up to just short of the 45. It looks like they're going to spot it about the 44-yard line. Number 24 with the stop, Seth Willis there, tight end. Okay, so first and 10 on about the 44 for the Buffs. First time we've got a look at this Buffalo offense so far this year. Grunwald is going to be under center at the quarterback. We'll get you some numbers here and see what we got. Looks like number 44. Split to the right. This is Williams, 24, right here. And I don't think he's going to make it back to the line of scrimmage here, Frank. Well, maybe back to the line of scrimmage. He was hit right away. So Williams with the reception. So it brings up a second 10 for the Buffs. So it looks like Grunwald wasn't in there on that first play, but uh, he is in there now. Number eight, hands off to 21, left side, pulls ahead, first down yardage. We got a flag. Boy, that was a little little bit of a jitterbug coming through that hole by uh, number 21. That was Dylan Littlefield. See what the Enough call is. to move the chain, but we'll have to wait for the call. See what it is here if we can I think they waved it off. Yeah, I think they waved it off. Yeah, they waved the flag off. They're moving the chains. It'll be first and ten for the buffs. Nice pickup by Littlefield. Huh. So Cameron Bennett just comes into the lineup right now. Straight yeah, up the middle. Enough. Good for about eight there. That was Logan Collins. Nice gain on first down. Be second and two. Second and two. Matt Madras in for uh, Bennett. Bennett, yeah, they must be bringing in the plays. That's better than wearing out the quarterback, run, running him to your sideline yeah. every time, putting some fresh players, right? Yeah. All right, second about two. Whoa, dropped in his tracks was uh, number 40, That was Collins. 44, yeah, Logan Collins. Number 26 for Calusa, shot through there. That's John Barron. He's uh, got, one of the captains. Got down around uh, uh, Collins' legs for no gain on the play. That'll set up a third down for the Buffs. So Collins directly behind Grunwald. Grunwald looking to throw, pass. he's looking left. Going way deep. over his head, out of bounds. So in. that'll be a fourth down. Let's see what Amateur's going to do. This is kind of a in-betweener spot here, and you really don't pick up a lot on a punt, so... I wouldn't be surprised if the Buffs go for it here. Intended receiver that time, 24, was Williams. And I think they're going to go for it. The play comes in from the sideline. After a good gain on first down of eight, now they're looking at fourth and three. Handoff coming this Whoa, way, number 23. Blitz. Oh, he's, he's got get the some, first down, and he's got some more. He's got 20, the 10, the 5, touchdown, yeah. Buffaloes. Is that 23 or 33, Frank? Madras. Okay. 23, Matt Madras, the running back. Excellent run, close to 40 yards, 35 yards. 33-yard touchdown by Madras. Puts the Buffs on top by six with uh, 9.25 left in the first quarter. He got hit in the backfield. It was deep. Oh, it was yeah. number 26 that got in there. Barron just slowed him down a hair, and he got a seam, and he was off of the races. Oh, kick Whoa. goes right into the line. That's going to be no good. That was Benny Griffin, and uh, you can't use a one iron. you got to use at least a sandwich. 
All right, so the Buffs first to score with, I said, 9.25 left. The Jackson Rancheria Band of Miwok Indians has embarked on a major effort to upgrade every single park and ball field in Amador County. They're currently working at Chaucey's Indian Grinding Rock State Park. The Amador County Park Restoration Project needs your help. For information on sponsoring or even volunteering, please give the project a call. That number is 223-8405. Again, Amador County Park Restoration Projects. Well, you know, Jim, I talked to the pregame about last week. They had a lot of three and outs, and they needed to move those chains. And they got a first down right away on the first play from scrimmage. Then the next first down play was an eight-yard gain, and then they got stuffed two times in a row. And... Then they ended up going for it in fourth down, break it loose, touchdown. Great way to start this game. Great way to start this homecoming. Well, yeah, pumps them up a little bit here. So we'll get to see what uh, this running attack from Calusa brought down. I'm not sure who kicks. I think it's Hayden Grandin. It's number seven, Griffin. Oh, Ben Griffin is, okay. is kicking off. Okay. Over here on the right hash mark, back deep for Calusa. Number five, that is uh, Cole. Number five and 23. 23 is Bravo. A so a little pooch. pooch kick into the open spot there. So number five. Picks it up at the 18, knocked out of bounds at about the 27 yard line. Jordan Cole. And Cole is averaging 100 yards a game, Frank. And also watch for number 23. That's Jorge Bravo, 95 yards a game. So there's 200-yard rushers right there. Well, th the three big rushers are Cole, Bravo, and don't sleep on Barron, number 26. Coming this way. Oh, nice job of the Whoa. backfield. Brought he should have been number down. 45. He yeah. was his knee at the ground. That's I, Bravo. I believe that was number 45 for the Buffs game, shooting through the center of the line. Kish, it looked like. So a loss of uh, two on the play. Bravo started out way right this time, in motion to this side, gave an inside handoff. Back to pass. pass. Oh, he's going deep and oh. way overthrown. As I told you, looking at the statistics so far this game, they do not throw the ball very much. Only average about five times a game. And uh, not too good of a percent completion. Well, but, you know, that, that there just needs to back off your defense a little bit. You know, when you start stacking eight, nine people in the box, you're expecting that run. You need to do something to stretch that a little bit. All right, from the shotgun again, third and 12. In motion again, fake the inside handoff, back to pass. They're going deep again. Got a guy Wide open, open, just he, not anywhere close. I don't know. Number two could have run a little bit faster there, Frank. It was catchable, I thought. Number two is uh, Tanner Ruggieri. Well, three and out for the buff defense right here. Nice job by Amador. Kalus is going to have to punt from this field position. And that was, that was all created on that loss on that first play because a running team does not like those down and distance. When you get them in the second, third, and 10, 12 yards, it makes it difficult for an offense like this to get back. Number 24. Too much, too much time, maybe. Right, let's see what the call is. Too many guys on the field. Yeah, one guy goes out, so they had uh, 12 guys on the field. So the kicker is Tanner Ruggieri. Eric Williams back, the receiver back to receive the punt, standing just inside his 40 yard line. Whoa, I've never. <laughs> There's. Ah, okay, they're going to have a little running kick here. I was well, say, you I see some teams incorporate that. It's kind of like a soccer style, and they go this way, and they look for the defense to see how the defense rotates over there. If you notice, the motion man on that punt goes to the side they're rolling to, and if he can knock somebody back coming back over, there's an opportunity possibly for a run. It always keeps that as an option on that type of punt. 
All right, the Buffs take over on their own 46-yard line. First and 10 with 8.35 left in the first. Great. Oh, Grunwald's on a keeper left side. Oh, and he's got another one. Rue, he's going down the side. Of the... He's gone. Nope. nope. Whoa, we got flags. Something happened here in the middle. The amateur coaches are pointing downfield. I don't. What was the call? Oh, oh no! They called the run down in the middle of the line because they thought he had the ball. I guess that it was a heck of out. a that was a heck of a fake. Now, now here's the whistle, there's nothing. The play is stopped because everybody stopped. So whether they make a mistake or not, they thought the ball was handed up the middle and called the runner down. So that's how good that fake was from Grunwald. And he was up the sidelines for a touchdown. And Amador really got a bum deal right there. But, but that's the rule. Once that whistle blows, play's over. At least they got 10 yards out of it, Frank. It's they first. did give him a first yeah. down. All right. Now it's down in the middle and there's a scrum there. Well, that was straight ahead, a gain of about six on the play, number 21 on the carry for the bus. Littlefield. But i got to tell you what. I've never it, seen that. Grunewald was gone. That was a touchdown. That, that was a 54-yard touchdown, and because of the official mistake, those points never got put on the board. You know, I've never seen that happen. I, I never have. I've, I've actually seen that before in professional football. Okay. So, second and five. Littlefield again. No, Grunewald's oh, got it. He's thinking yeah, you out too, Jim. There's another first down, down to almost the 25-yard yeah. line. Oh, Littlefield puts on a heck of a fake there. Well, I got to tell you, after that call, the officials are going to take a little more time before not going to be so quick on that whistle after blowing that touchdown. <laughs> All right, the clock's running. So first and ten from the 25, two straight oh, first down, timeout on the field. Timeout, Calusa. Yeah, Calusa needs to slow this runaway train down because right now they're on their heels. Okay, we'll be back after this short break. Okay, we're back after that timeout break. And, um, well, the clock is kind of... Fouled up a little well, bit. Well, they're here, waiting to reset it at 7.03, I believe. So well, 7.30, I think, is what they're looking for, but they've got 70. Well, they're minutes. going to look. Right now, let's take a look around the league tonight. As I predicted early in the week on Wednesday on the sports show, every. Oh, now they got it set. We'll, okay, we'll we're ready to, to go. We'll get these predictions out sometime here, Frank. Oh, now we whistles. got a flag. False Motion. start. Yep. Okay, it's going to go five against the uh, Buffs. So that'll take the ball back to the 30-yard line. It'll be first and 15 for Amador. Number 36 for the Buffs shuffles the play in. Straight ahead to Littlefield. Busts through a hole. He's still on his That's feet. He's Collins. still going. 44 is Collins. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Good, good yard. He's short of a first down by about three. Well, he gained about 12 yards on the play. That'll make it second and three. First to amateur game. I need to get my numbers going here. All right, so second and three for the Buffs. They're knocking on the door again. They're in the red zone. Collins again behind Grunwald. In motion. Grunwald wants to throw. Wide open, 24. Williams in the corner. Overthrows over throw. him. Boy, Grunwald had him, too. He ran a little corner route, and he was wide open, and Grunwald just overthrew the pass. Okay, so it brings up a third and a long three. So Collins is coming out, number 36 in with the play. That's Littlefield. Third and three. S 
Grunewald's got it. He comes around the corner. He's Quick, got the first he's got down. He's still touchdown. going five. Touchdown, Grunewald. 19-yard run by Grunewald. Puts another six on the board for the herd right here. Puts it up to 12. Well, that, that touchdown that they they had that they didn't get was Grunewald, and he was able yep. to finish it off on that nice 54-yard drive by the Buffs here. Two possessions, two touchdowns. Murphy holding, and that was a sandwich there, Frank. Yep, that was good. So Griffin with the PAT puts the score right now at 13 zip. Buffs on top of the Red Hawks. Want to look around the rest of the league tonight? Look at where we're what we're at. Calaveras takes a 0 and 3 record. They're looking for their first victory tonight. They're at Union Mine, Somerville. The big surprise so far comes in at 3 and 0. They're at Houston, at at Somerville at home against Houston. Excuse me, Houston comes in 3 and 0. That ought to be a game. good game, yeah. and I think Somerville should win that football game. Sonora, another good game there. They're playing at home against Ripon. And Sonora comes in 2-1 and one after losing that first uh, game to a really good Oakdale team. And they've beat, they just smashed Lodi, a Division I team, and then beat a good Hillmar team last week. Bret Hart, they're down in Livermore playing Livermore Valley Charter Prep. Well, never heard of that one. Um, so I, I'm, I'm suggesting they get their second win tonight. And Argonaut looking for their first win. They're at Denaire and to finish it up, Linden. Faces 0-3 Riverbank at Linden, also looking for their first win. Well, there you have it. Around the league in two minutes. Not enough players on the field here. All right, it looks like now we're set. Griffin's going to tee it up at the 40. Again, number five deep is Cole. Their big yardage runner. Oh, Pooch again. Oh. The lineman just kind of fell on it. Big number 70. 70. Sammy goes about 240 pounds. Yeah, so. I, don't, I don't think they, uh, the coach wants them running with the football. If you get it, fall oh. down. So they're going to start at the 32-yard line. It's fun to watch those big guys run, though, you know what? Especially when the people try to tackle them. So second uh, possession for Calusa. Three and out. Their first possession, inside handoff. That's 20. number 26. Oh, boy, and what a smack right there by number 36, Littlefield. So, 26. That's Barron, the other uh, third rusher on this team, and he uh, gains maybe two on the play. In motion, hand off to number five. Still, still fighting, fighting for yards. It's going to be close to a first down, about a yard short. Well, he gets up over the 40-yard line, and, and that, that was all uh, all on himself because he was hit after about a two-yard gain, and he just kept kept those legs moving. Brings up third and one. Now, Calusa is going to go from the shot going formation in this third and short. High snap. Inside handoff. Cuts it back inside right in the teeth of the defense, but I think he got the first down. It's all on the spot. Yep, they're moving the chains. Okay, so Bravo gets the first down for the Red Hawks. And Calusa is ready to go. It looks like they're trying to speed this up a little bit. They hurry up to the line. Oh, the high snap. snap. He's going to keep it. Looking to throw. Oh, almost intercepted. 69. Had a shot at it. That was sweet. But I tell you, if it was a better throw, uh, 
the guy was open. Had to drop it in between that zone coverage. Uh, that was a pretty tough little window to throw it into. He tried to throw it right to him instead of throwing it over the top of Sweet. That's up to the line again here, Frank. Yeah, they, they're, no they're trying to hurry this game up a little bit here. Not let the Buffs get their defense set. Another high snap. Keeper this time. Rolling right, and he's in trouble. He's not going to go anywhere. There's Host. a flag. Host of Amador Buffs with the tackle there. I thought I saw a flag come in, but... Loss of uh, one or two on the play. Third and ten. This is back to the same situation they had their last possession. Inside handoff. Nowhere. Another going right into the team. Oh, he's, oh, how did he get through there? He just popped out of there like a, I don't know. Well, it's still going to be a fourth down here, and I think just north of the 50-yard line, is going to be forced to punt again. Now, this is the type of field position where that type of soccer running punt, you know, they probably have instructions for the punter. You need to watch it and see, and if you have room, you know, they don't well, let's they see only need about four yards Well, let's see if the here. guy goes in motion here. And there he goes. See, right-fitted kicker almost always goes to the right, even though the wide side of the field was this way. That's an excellent punt right there, Frank. If it goes well, low line, oh, right. it oh, it's going to stop right at the two-yard. Oh, no. he picks it up. Oh, it's no, no, he's out. It was forward progress. Yeah. They're going to mark it down about the one? one, maybe the two. Let's see. You know, I, I'm sure Coach Baker will have a little conversation about that. That ball wasn't going anywhere, and you weren't going anywhere. Only bad things don't, can happen from there. When you start looking at a risk and reward situation, leave that ball alone. Get away from it. Only bad things can happen from there. All right, the ball sits on the two-yard line now with uh, 353 left in the uh, first quarter. So a long field for the Buffaloes, but so far that has not been a challenge for them. 44 Collins. Oh, close to Boy, a he, safety. He, he, no, he got across, but just barely. Just. You know, that when you have a slow developing play like that, when you're trying to get outside, when you're that close to the goal line, those are the type of problems that you have. Normally, you want something quick hitting, straight up the middle, no chance for a loss on that. And when you try to stretch that play out, you know, the back intensively, or in, insensitively, Instinctively. Want, instinctively, thank you. you. Wants to come wide, and that's the worst thing you can do when you're that close to your own goal line. Straightaway handoff that time. Still not much going. Didn't make well, it to the five. Well, he got out almost to the five-yard line. That gives him a little breathing room. But this would be a big stop for the Calusa defense because so far their offense, nice job by the Buffalo defense with two three and outs. Little field, the ball carrier that time. Brings up third down and a long six. Short seven. You know, it, it, would, it wouldn't surprise me if they just ran that same play. They're just looking, you know, anything they can get at this point is extra, but they don't want to take any chances this deep in their own end zone and turn that ball back over to the defense. Straight ahead again. Oh, he got tripped Fell down. Up. That was Collins, so it's going to bring up a fourth down punting situation for the buffs yeah he just and, he, and it looked like he had a little room possibly to get that first down but he just tripped up right at the line of scrimmage fell forward for a gain of about a couple of yards but they're gonna have to punt do you change your old oil it's illegal to abandon used oil and other hazardous substances take your used waste oil and filters to a certified recycling collection center for a center near you please call the amador county waste management team at 223 64 29 again amador county waste management Two two three six four two nine. Number eighty two is that Grant? That's a high yeah. kick. Well, that's a good kick. There's going to be no return right as it 50. bounces forward. Going to be blown dead right at the fifty yard line. So nice job right there by uh, Grandin, I believe. That's Hayden Grandin, the amateur punter, to Was get them out of a hole. Was it 82 or 88, Frank? 82. It was oh, okay. 8 grand. Okay. That's their punter. 
American Legion has been serving Amador County since 1929 for $100 a year. 75 if you're an active member in the Legion. Your household is covered for medically necessary ambulance transports. For details and tickets, please call the Amador Legion Post 108 Ambulance Office at 223-2963. Again, Clues in a hurry right up to the line. High snap. Look at a throw. Wide Over open. The middle. Complete. Gain of six on the play where it would be blown dead at about the 44-yard line. Williams and Sweet trying to rip the ball out, but nobody went down on the ground. I think Called the ball dead. The first completion tonight for Calusa. Okay, just about a minute and 25 left in the first quarter here, if you're just joining us. Buffalo's on top of the Calusa Red Sox tonight right now, 13 to nothing. A couple of quick touchdowns for the Buffs. Inside handoff to number five. And that's Jordan Cole. That's going to be short of the first down. Number 45 pulls himself up off the bottom of the pile for Amador. Cody Kish. Be third and a couple. And they're ready to go again. Oh, almost a fumble on the handoff. It's going to be Ooh. just short of the first down. Now, I'm going to guess that Clouse is going to go for this one. It'll be fourth and short. But it was a high snap, and he tried to hand it off, and, and it almost got stuck on the helmet of the running back. Operation Care, nonprofit organization providing domestic violence and sexual assault support services for youth and adults in Amador County. If you become a victim of domestic violence, contact Operation Care. The 24-hour crisis line, it's at 223-2600. Again, Operation Care and that crisis hotline. Give it a call. Now, this surprises me, Jim, that they're back in punt formation. Oh, and a snap over his head. He's in trouble. A lot of pressure all the way back to the 27-yard oh. line. Fifth. Pulled down by number 54. Hey, 54, Christian Santinelli. Wow, that high snap. I was really surprised to even see them go back in punt formation in that fourth and one situation down by two scores here. And the snap went over the punter's head and Argonaut gets the ball. Big turnover right there. They're going to have a first and ten from their own, or from Calusa's 28-yard line. So you figure even if they got the kickoff, they probably gained about 50 yards with one sack of the uh, punter. So okay, end of the first quarter. We're going to be back with second quarter action right after this. Stay tuned.